which lemal is the best i've got some bottles here and i'm going to tell you which one you should get if you're considering buying any of these so by the way my name is monica and on this channel we talk about fragrances for men and i've got here four bottles of lemal fragrances and there's so many lemals there's bo also there's a couple of others but i believe from my research also these are the most popular lemals and i'm going to show you which one i personally think is the sexiest on a guy which one kind of smells dated and which one is for a different sort of a person this is the new le mal le parfum this is the first le mal that came out just called le mal and ultra male i would say these three are the most bought and popular fragrances for men let me start with the usual the normal le mal to me this is a nice minty but sweet fresh fragrance i know that when it first came out it was most considered like a dating or a clubbing fragrance but to me compared to the other ones at the moment this is the most fresh and daytime appropriate so i would go for this if you like just smell like a clean guy but what i would say that this is kind of starting to smell a bit dated maybe not because the fragrance is dated but because so many people have worn it since it came out in like 1994 i think so now when we did tests and ask women what they thought about this one often they think this smells a bit old because they think about their dads maybe wearing it so this one is more of a fragrance that is getting a bit more mature smelling and not exactly in a good way although it's a very good fragrance i wouldn't personally recommend it to you guys if you were buying your first le Mal. now let's move on to ultra male which is extremely popular and many people love it for how sweet and candy like it is and many women absolutely love it but in my experience we did test it out on the streets and women actually when we tested it versus Versace Eras, none of the women chose this one as their preferred fragrance. The question is, which one do you find more attractive on a guy? That one. The first one. The manly? More that manly. Sense? Not to be like stereotypical. That one. The first one. Yeah, that was a bit light. Like a bit women, light. a bit feminine. Because okay, so it just feels like, it just smells more like masculine. The first one. The first one, if I might. The other women said that this one is a bit feminine for, for them. It's, it's not. It smells like old people. It smells like old people. <laughs> Which yeah, one do you find more attractive on a This guy? one. The yeah, first yeah one. on the left one. And that's another one. Prefer that one to that one. And I've also asked my friend on video and she said this smells just too much like candy and kind of feminine. So if you're looking for compliments and if you want like a kick ass going out fragrance, I would say maybe this one, its time has passed and it's no longer the one to go for. Next ones are these two. So Le Mal Essence. This one I believe has gotten discontinued but I can still find it on many discounters so that's why I chose to put it in here because I'll link it for you guys. This one smells so good. This one is a much more grown-up, leather-based, beautiful, sweet but kind of dusty and intense masculine fragrance for men. If I was going to go for a fragrance perfect for clubbing so like intense powerful fragrance and you want to go for the mal dna which they all kind of have that scent in them you know what i mean you've probably smelled it before this one smells so much more luxurious and expensive than the other ones and i just love this one personally to me it's very sexy and i would recommend you to get yourself one of these before they're totally gone and totally discontinued because this is such a good all-rounder scent and with Le Mal Le Parfum this is one of the newest fragrances I love it it's oh my gosh one of my favorites this is more of a quieter more timid fragrance from the line but don't discount it yet because when you apply it and when you wear it people will still be able to smell it around you it's extremely sexy but not in like in your face way this is like calm collected cool 
guy. This guy smells amazing. Mint and kind of like iris. It's so unique and calming. It's super just expensive smelling. Love this one. I would say this one also smells just like Lemal had a brother and this is much older and richer brother of the original Lemal. Hands down, this is the best Lemal in my opinion that they've come out with and I am obsessed with it. I recommend it to all of you guys. 10 out of 10 fragrance. You'll impress women with this one and it just doesn't smell dated at all. It, if anything, it just smells modern. And this one also, this one I would give 9 out of 10 because it's just amazing. And the performance on these ones, they last a long time. With this one, you can go ahead and spray a bit more to be a bit more smelt. But as I said, with this one, you can overspray it to go clubbing, but you can also have an intimate date night and not smell like too much because that is of putting to women. So you can smell just right, just perfect with three or four sprays of this one. Let me know which is your favorite Lamal. Subscribe for more colognes recommendations and like this video if you enjoy fragrances, um, review fragrances like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.